no support or help, enough is enough, Love Island stars hit out at the show after former contestant Michael Asaitis is found dead in Woodland, and claim they're abandoned to cope with instant fame once the series ends. Stars of ITV's Love Island have hit out at the show after former contestant Michael Asaitis was found dead last night in Woodland near his Essex home. The 26-year-old's sudden death comes just months after one of his best friends, Danny Cutts, passed away in December. His manager confirmed the shock news yesterday. The cause of his death is not yet known and police are yet to release any information. It has also been suggested that Mike was struggling to come to terms with the death of his grandmother. The reality TV star had moved in with the 94-year-old after her deteriorating health meant she needed a full-time carer. Now former co-stars and friends of Mike have said that enough is enough as they claim that they are left abandoned once they leave the reality show's villa, having to deal with instant fame alone. After learning of the news of his death, former Love Island co-star Dome Lover slammed Love Island for its lack of support once contestants leave the villa. He said, you get a psychological evaluation before and after you go on the show but hands down once you're done on the show you don't get any support unless you're number one. This followed a tweet where he expressed how shocked he was at the news. Malin Anderson, who lost her daughter earlier this year also hit out at the show and said she wouldn't have been able to cope after the show if she didn't have a strong head on her. She said, if I didn't have a strong head on me that my mom passed down to me, I wouldn't have been able to cope with this all. But not everyone is like this. Please if you feel alone, or sad or stuck reach out to somebody. Nothing when my mom died. Nothing when Sophie died. Change needs to happen. She also urged the show to wake up. And said that enough was enough. I got flowers from the producers when my daughter died. No F phone call. No support, or help. Other famous faces, such as BAFTA award-winning actress Sheridan Smith said the last sight of death should be a wake-up call and highlighted a need for change across the industry. She said, this should be a massive wake-up call, I feel sick, reach out, sometimes to the most confident friend. We can only learn and try to change. Mike. Who rose to fame on season 3 of Love Island, was also preparing to open a restaurant in Essex. The former League One footballer, who comes from a Cypriot family, enjoyed a successful playing career before becoming a beloved reality TV star. He made an immediate impact after entering the famous ITV villa in 2017 where he was affectionately nicknamed Muggy Mike for being an instant hit with the ladies, as a late replacement. Mike had previously spoken out about the criticism he had received during his stint on Celebs Go Dating and said, It seems like people are out to get you a lot of the times people want to see you slip up constantly. Katie McDermott who also appeared on the show, and has recently been in the press for arguing with former Toei cast member Maria Fowler and highlighted that shows such as Love Island don't help the contestants after the show has ended. She said, hopefully going forward reality shows will help more with the aftermath of being on one, because I can say it definitely didn't happen after my series when lots of us needed it. 
People's lives change overnight and no one can mentally be prepared for it. The good and the bad. Ah the reality TV star stated that they felt more needed to be done by the producers of those shows in order to safeguard the mental health of contestants. Lauren Goodman said, before any more TV auditions there needs to be compulsory mental health support put in place. Not just we have support there if you need. Too many are dying from reality shows. Time to wake up. Changes need to happen, how many more? Mike had previously been in a seven-month relationship with the only way is Essex star and country singer Meghan McKenna, who was yet to make a statement about his death. He last played football for Margate in 2017 before going on to appear on Channel 4's Celebs Go Dating in 2018. During his stint on the show he joined fellow celebrities such as Made in Chelsea's Sam Thompson and Toei's Gemma Collins. In the latest series of the show Meghan McKenna has oust made an appearance, looking for love after the pair finally broke off their on-off relationship earlier this year. Love Island host Carolyn Flack dubbed the last sight as a total gentleman. You are a total gentleman. I won't forget that. It's so sad. You will be missed. R.I.P. Voice over Starry and Sterling could also be seen lingering behind Mike in the picture which appears to be captured during the Love Island 2017 rap party. Previous Love Island star Chris Hughes also took to social media at the night to pay his respects. He tweeted, his name wasn't Muggy Mike. Please stop brandishing that. His name was Mike the Las Atus, and every inch of my heart goes out to his family and friends. A good guy, taken far, far too soon. Fellow Love Island contestant Olivia Atwood posted on Instagram, literally don't know what to say. Another one gone too young. Thinking of Mike's family and friends at the horrendous time. You will be missed terribly. His death comes as an inquest into the death of another former Love Island star Sophie Gradon was cancelled after her parents asked for more time to consider a report which was recently received. The inquest, scheduled for next Thursday, was cancelled by Northumberland Corners Court. The 32-year-old who featured on the show's 2016 series, was found dead at her home in Pontaland, near Newcastle, on June 20th last year. Her boyfriend, Aaron Armstrong, died 20 days later at his home in Blythe, Northumberland. The inquest into her death was cancelled after her parents received new information. Scheduled for next Thursday, it was cancelled by Northumberland Corners Court. A statement said, please note that it has been necessary to cancel the hearing date. Sophie's parents have requested further time to consider a report which was only recently received. Her mother, Anastasia Beverhassan, wrote on Twitter in February that the family are still waiting for access to her iPhone almost nine months after her death. Mike had dated Meghan McKenna for seven months and confirmed their separation in August. She had previously highlighted that Mike wasn't a nasty person and had told OK Magazine that the pair were just two different people. I can't even say why we split. I just feel like we're both at different point in our lives. We both respect each other and we didn't want it to get nasty or messy. There is only so much you can do in a relationship and when it's not working you've got to take separate routes.
she continued, but I wish him all the luck in the world, he's not a nasty person. Everything happens for a reason. It wasn't one of those breakups like ones I've had in the past where it was really bitter and nasty, this was more a decision we made together. The way I dealt with things in the past with my exes was by screaming and that was not a good way to deal with it. Shocked fans of Mike's took to social media to pay tribute to the reality TV star as the news emerged. One fan tweeted, R.I.P. Muggy Mike. Another took to Thalassitis Instagram account to pay tribute, writing rest in peace below his most recent post. Chelmsford City FC tweeted their condolences and said, the club are saddened to hear the news of the passing of former striker Mike Thalassitis. Our thoughts and prayers go to his family and friends at this time. Another Toy star, Mario Falcone, took to Instagram to share his condolences and posted a picture of the pair. He said, truly heartbroken by the news. He was always a complete gentleman. I know you had your struggles. A young man with so much life left to live. Please guys, if you are struggling, talk to someone. R.I.P. Brother. Comedian and fellow celebs go dating star London Hughes said, Rest in peace Mike, I'm in shock. My heart goes out to his family. The guy was the absolute coolest. I'm so confused, this is so sad. This is while Geordie Shore star Vicky Patterson said, I just realized we have no pictures together I'm sorry, I do not even know what to say. I'm shocked and so incredibly sad. You weren't the person people thought you were Mike you were a beautiful soul and always made me laugh and cheered me up when I was down. My thoughts and prayers are with your family. This truly is a tragedy. Rest in peace my dear and I hope you know you were loved. In a statement the spokesperson for ITV said, everyone at it to in Love Island are shocked and saddened by this terrible news. Our thoughts and deepest condolences are with Mike's family and friends at this very sad time. Ex Tyler Carr leads heartbreaking tributes to lovely and kind star. Tributes have flooded in for late Love Island star Mike Thalassitis after he was found dead near his hometown on Saturday. The reality star's former co-stars took to social media to express their condolences after reports emerged that the 26-year-old had passed in a forest in his hometown in Essex. The former League Two footballer enjoyed a successful playing career before becoming a beloved reality TV star after appearing on season three of Love Island in the summer of 2017. Former Love Island star Tyler Rosie Carr said, I can't believe the call I've just had. Mike, you're loved by all the Love Island family. You'll be missed so much. All my love goes out to your friends and family. Shocked.